Привет, принцесса! You will look good in this. I can tell. I always tell. Mm, your wife will like this. Make you look very strong. in this yes. Welcome. Hi, it's my real pleasure to serve you. I dropped this in the kitchen.
journey begin this evening. That's a copy. Miserable journey. This way. Hey, baby, you want to dance? Oh, are you going to enjoy this? Come on.
Man, I like that. You like what I got here, sugar? Shit! Are those real? I think I'm gonna see you again, right, honey? Does your mama know you do this? Mmm, oh, that was nice. Oh, baby, I can see you enjoyed that. They don't build them like this back home.
Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man. I'm freaking out, man. I'm being followed. I saw them! Don't be ridiculous. You're being paranoid. I'm be... Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead. Because Felsten is a psychopath. He's going to kill us, because we killed Vlad. Vlad was his man. That's how it works. You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman, get out of there, man. Listen to me. Vlad was a piece of trash. They don't care about him. All they care about is making money. So, we say we work for them. Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. I wish I could come. Come on, you. Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. <laughs> we had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. Your dad likes it up the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I tied up in the basement a long way from home, while some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! Good lord. What are you doing? Nothing. I mean, I was finding out who he is. And? Who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house! making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Bellic, you think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. <laughs> asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bozomoy. Now listen. Nico Bellic. You are very lucky Vlad was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some dickheads in my neighborhood trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Shut up, Roman. Shut up! Roman, shut up! Shut up, Roman! Shut up! Roman, shut up! 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 We'll take care of your cousin, but you better get a police car. And then you call me. Roman, Roman. Go, go, go. I, I'll take care of him. Fuck!
hit the police car. What now? The man is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin, not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TV. Goodbye. Get out with no funny business. I ain't got nothing. You wasting your time. Are you carrying a shipment of TVs? <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Nishta, Yeviga. Get out of there, you're fucking dead! You're making a mistake. We're paying protection money to Kenny Petrovic. What you got back there? TVs? Show me. You're gonna be sorry. Wrong move, asshole!
Where is everybody? Suspect in motion on foot. I've left the van where you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Hey, Kev! Where are you going, so man? So can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? Sorry about the smell. I just laid some gas in here. Actually. A Dimitri guy gave me some painkillers. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later, Nico. Hey man, it'd be cool if we could listen to a different station. Can we listen to the beat? Spell my name, Swizzy. <laughs> 
on, you're driving slower than me, man. Hello, Michelle. You want to hang out with me? Sure. I'd like that. Uh, pick me up in an hour? Excellent. See you in an hour.
can't believe how painless this place looks okay place is crawling with gangsters. What's the appeal to you? Well, I don't know about that. Why do you always go and get the drinks? If I did not know any better, I would think you were trying to put something in my glass. Trying to slip me a Mickey. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. Is that what they call it? You're not slipping this Mickey to me, were you? No. <laughs> of course not. I'm just drunk. <laughs> very, very drunk. Эй, смотри, куда прёшь! Присматривай за ним, что-то с ним не то. a safe place for you to be. Go now. You are fucking with the wrong people. One of them, please. Gracias for your business. Thanks. Take a Excuse bite of my hot chihuahua meat. Where to, my man? of crime is back for another season. The cigarette was lost. He was nervous about something. He's four feet away. So can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? No problem. I will get you there, buddy. This is as far as I can go, my friend. Can I come into your flat? Sure. Why not? Great. But I hope you don't kiss and tell. That's great! Speak up a little! Oh, tell me interesting things! Oh, Nico! Nice girl, but uh, there's something strange about her.
fence away from me. So can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? All right then, let's do it. Probably thinking right now, what's a cool, handsome guy like me driving a cab for? and talk about suffering. Uh, I'm not gay, by the way. Uh, well, uh, why don't we just take a call then? Okay. Yeah, Brandon, hey, let me get your work, man. How you pretend to be other people and then spend all the rest of your time telling ordinary folk I live? It really inspires me. Um, I'm a pathological liar. Yeah, yeah, w whenever there's a natural disaster or anything, I try to show up and help make a point yeah. with photo ops how, how the government is really letting people down. You know, I have more yeah, money and a bigger soul, and my goal in life is to prove it to everyone. You know, do some opera, drink some pomegranate juice. Of... People don't have enough antioxidants. I worry about the prison industrial complex. Here we the are. Great, thanks. Complex. The, the industrial industrial complex. The inferior <laughs> I think my heart stopped. The left side of my face has gone numb. Who are you calling for Burger Shot? The Heart Stopper. The all new tower of a meal at Burger Shot. It's the six pound burger you can't live without. The Heart Stopper. Seven patties. Six pounds of meat and cheese. You'll be flatlined in five seconds flat. Mm, this is a fucking good burger. Drive in, take out. Burger Shot. Die with a smile on your face. It's back. The groundbreaking formulaic cliffhanger 72. Can Judd Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled in the stall, the men's room with Baz and Jeremy. 
who's on line three? Yeah. Hey, uh, am I on? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? I tell you what, Baz. My boy Jeff, he is your number one fan. Are you Good. sure he's in the joint right now? But he'll be out in a couple of years. Man, you really put a lot of great advice in your show. Thank I you. mean it. You know, Thank you. you got to put yourself first or people will put you second, you know? I mean, history has some great examples of that. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Jeff. Now, a lot of people in the joint should learn from my advice. You are the boss or you are the bitch. Mm -hmm. That is the name of my next book. I don't believe in an eye for an eye. Oh, no, because boss believes in an eye for two eyes. Or better yet, an eye for two eyes and an ear and a spleen. And maybe a new shirt because this one is covered in entrails. Like that! Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Who wants to knife fight with me fast, in the audience? Fast, fast. Cowards. Fast. You sound really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Ugh, it was such a drag. I tell you what boss says will clean you right out. A nail gun. Bam, bam, bam! And then I grab a circle of saw, and then I cut off your arm. Uh, Just like a... And I start hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on a construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line five? Hey, man, my name's Jack. I'm a big fan of the show since you What's came up? back on air. I have a question. Is cyber sex cheating? Like, I've got a video camera up to my junk, and I'm in a chat room all lubed up. All my online friends say my junk looks amazing. My hobby doesn't hurt anyone, but my wife's divorcing me. I tell you, I hate the Internet. It's for cats and pedophiles, and it's for girly men who want to trick bus. And let me tell you, it's not like real life. I love myonlineme.com. You know, you can really get in touch with yourself by building a little virtual character and uh, building him a house and making him go to the bathroom and watching him sleep. You know what? I hate it. That's what I do. I walked up to the people in virtual reality and I can't break their legs. What good is virtual reality if you can't make people? <laughs> It's bullshit. You know what this is, Jeremy? What? Watch this. What's this? that? That's toilet paper. Absolutely right. You have to realize that everything around you is a weapon. Mm. Toilet paper, spoons, a hacksaw. If you're in a lot of trouble, you have real ultimate power. Listen, and you will learn. Now, let me tell you, I've been around. I was in a bar once, and I said something to this drag queen. And she kicked me in the nuts. Can you believe that? <laughs> now listen, I don't take shit from nobody, especially a man who dresses as a woman. So I grab her by the fucking hair and I bounce her head. <laughs> okay, who's in charge now, huh? So suddenly this guy comes out and he attacks me. I grab a beer ball, pack, break it on the table, stab it in his face. Yeah, yeah. It's bleeding everywhere and down he goes and he had glass in his eye. Dry queen screams. <laughs> I look at him in the eye and I say, listen, buddy, this day of misery has just begun. Right in their fucking face. And another guy comes to me with a pool cue. Like, Uh-oh, not enough rappers now. Okay, say, listen, are you going to do something with that? And I slit his throat. Over and out. He was gurgling. And then I licked his face and I started laughing. Ha, <laughs> ha, And the bartender, it was unbelievable. Fuck you, bartender. I walked outside, I get on the motorcycle, and I get back to my house. Finally, when I was home, I took a long, warm bubble bath. <sighs> yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, we're straight out of time. Uh, see you next time in the men's room. The men's room, brought to you by the Alco Patch. It's the same refreshing feeling of your favorite drink, but delivered transdermally and discreetly. Pick up the Alco Patch at your local pharmacy. Get ready to put your family to sleep. Weasel presents a whole new season of Ether. Your ringtone defines who you are and how much money you have. So take bling to the next level with Audio Bling. It's VIP luxury ringtones. Oh, they've got that dragon brain ringtone. I've got the science of crime ringtone. Now everyone knows I'm as boring as a show. The 
VIP luxury ringtones, including extreme tones like a person being beheaded or diamonds. A old bitch falling and breaking her hip. <gasps> Wow, that's dope. VIP luxury ringtones. Only 100 bucks. Be an individual. Get a VIP luxury ringtone today. Visit VIPLuxuryRingtones.com. Recorded live from Liberty City at the home of the six drink minimum, the famous Split Sides Comedy Club presents all the way from London, Europe, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I've been thinking a lot about war recently. A lot of it about. A lot of bad stuff in the world. Someone's always at war. And I was thinking, what's my favourite war? Vietnam. Best soundtrack. <laughs> definitely. Second World War. Best ending. <sighs> what a finale. You know it's over. When, <sighs> you can't follow that. That's the end. People are worried about that, though, because the atomic bomb, oh, it ended a war, which is good, but the effects are still being felt, which is bad. And it was invented by Einstein, and he's a genius. In his uh, 1907 paper, Einstein said that light could be described as discrete bundles of energies, that when irradiated, I'd, oh, what sort of cunt thinks like that, really? <laughs> I mean, that's what turns Stephen Hawking's mental. Too much thinking. I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure. The universe is expanding. Yeah, of course it is, Stephen. <laughs> Take a day off. Go for a walk. Or, not a walk, but open a window. Watch a bit of TV. Robot Wars is on. You like that, don't you? People go, oh, you can't have a go at Stephen Hawking. He's a genius. He's not a genius. He's pretentious. Born in England and talks with an American accent. <laughs> Cambodia. That was a good one. Pol Pot. He killed 100,000 people. He rounded up 100,000 people and he killed them because they were what he called intellectuals. And that was his threat. And do you know how he told whether they were intellectual or not? Was whether they wore glasses. If they're that clever, take them off when they see him coming. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, well, Kierkegaard, here comes Pol Pot. All right? Yeah, not too bad, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr. Pot. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thick, as you can see. Th him over there, look. Oh, oh. Don't kill him. Falklands War. That's probably my favourite. People say it was a conflict. It was a war. And it's my favourite because it was a range war. And what that means is that the Argentinian guns could fire nine kilometres, whereas the British guns could fire 17 kilometres. So we just parked our boats about 10 kilometres away, and theirs were falling into the water while we were shelling the shit out of them. It's the war equivalent of holding a midget at arm's length. <laughs> yeah. And he's flailing, he's just missing, and you're just steady kicking the bollocks. Ow! Smack. Ow! Smack. People go, oh, you must never go at midgets. Why not? <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> you must never go at fundamentalist terrorists. They're the scary ones. Midgets, do what you want. Thanks very much. Good night. Mr. Ricky Gervais. Critics are raving about how the West was won on Weasel. Running horses, justified genocide, big bosoms, and chip face shootouts are coming to Tuesdays on the next season of Spittoon. Don't miss it. in the driveway staring at your phone. Are your pants on buckle? It's the Wiz Wireless Video Package. Watch all your favorite movies on your phone, on demand, at home, at work, while stuck in traffic. Adult titles, too. You won't want to get out of your car. Honey, the neighbors are calling the police. Wiz Wireless. Do the social vibe. Technology. It's what a man needs. Extreme 9. The Excelsior Extreme 9. Nine blades of glory. Facial hair makes you look like a pervert or a hobo. Or someone covering a scar he got tossing salad in the joint. Now take your shaving to the extreme. Get closer. 
It's a sports car power lift expensive watch on a Mediterranean beach of a shave at turbo quality levels. Technology has arrived at the Razor's Edge. Excelsior Extreme 9. It's the show that may save your life. How to survive when there's a suitcase nuke on your train. Can you and your family afford to miss it? Republican Space Rangers. Intergalactic War on Terror. But don't worry about collateral damage or error. Cause we're nuke and hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty. Sometimes.